Hello everybody. Today I just want to make a short video about why Today I just want to make a short video about my absolute favorite Bible study software and why I think every Christian should be using eSword free Bible study uh, software for PC and they also have it don't let just PC to fool you they also have it for Mac. Uh, it's at e-sword.net, and this is comparable. It will give Logos and Olive Tree a good run for their money. And believe me, Logos and Olive Tree, they have some free functions to them, but you can literally spend thousands and thousands of dollars with those two pieces of software for what you can do for free with eSword. So let me just give you a little uh, overview of the software itself. Uh, you'll notice the layout here we have on the left hand side you have your books you can go to your different books and you go to your different chapters proverbs you know chapter 12 and then you can scroll down on this side you have various different references can be loaded a uh, whole bunch of free references it comes with this cross reference and it comes with this commentary fb meyer commentary uh, there's nothing uh, he's commenting on here on this particular uh, verse. If he was, then there would be an explanation mark here. And if you don't want anything that it comes preloaded with, it comes preloaded with the F.B. Meyer and the TSK cross-reference and the King James and the King James with Strong's Concordance uh, numbering system, which in the Strong's Dictionary down here. That's what it comes with. Uh, you can get all sorts of stuff uh, extra, and a lot of it can be actually be gotten right here within the software just by clicking the download button. Let's say you wanted a, some other Bible translations. You can see free English. Look at all these various uh, free English translations. They even have English Standard Version. I happen to know that the person who develops and maintains the software pays a huge amount of money for licensing to get the ESV on here for you to have for free. So if you do, after it's all said and done, if you do decide to download this and you have a little bit of money, how about sending him some money? You know, it, 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 while this stuff's provided for free, it's certainly costing him a lot of money to provide it. So he keeps it regularly updated. You'll get new versions from time to time. The latest version was just a couple, three, few months ago. But anyhow, you got all kinds of English translations here. Uh, you can purchase some. There's certain, he doesn't have them all. There's some that you know won't let him do it for free. And but like here, you can see I've the ones that aren't blue. I've purchased. I got the New American Standard Bible uh, Bible Study Set that gives you the 2020 and the 1995 and the New American Standard uh, Strong's Concordance. Uh, it's, it's keyed to Strong's Concordance as well. And I also had the New King James Version. But there's others you could get. Oh, what if you don't speak English? Well, everything from the Africanus all the way. It's got Spanish, Japanese, Chinese, Romanian, Vietnamese, all the way down to XHOSA. XHOSA. I'm not exactly sure uh, what that, if that's pronounced correctly, but you'll notice. Most of these other language translations are free. If not all, I believe all of them have a free download, a public domain download. Uh, and some of them, I'm sure, provide, I know the Spanish does, you can, you can purchase other translations through the software. So, that's how you get extra Bibles. You could also get download commentaries. All kinds of commentaries are free. All kinds. Dictionaries. I have the... King James Concordance, I have the Smith's Bible Dictionary, Thayer's Greek Definitions, and the Strong's Hebrew and Greek Dictionaries comes preloaded. I have the Brown's, Brown Driver Briggs Hebrew Definitions as well. Uh, you can see those. Let me pull this out of the way here. You can see that I have them all down here. And I uh, also have, and I'll show you, this is a, uh, this is a, uh, uh, what's his name? Bill Mounts. I believe this is his name, uh, Greek Dictionary. 
I will show you how to get it. It's free. We're going to go there in a little bit, but I will show you how to get it. I paid for this UCRT cross-reference. Let me continue to show you this real quick, because this is where you get all your extra add-on resources that gives Logos and Olive Tree a real run for the money. You can get Devotions downloaded for free. Look at that. There's some you can purchase as well. Uh, there's Morning and Evening by Charles Spurgeon. I have that one. Uh, and you can see, let me see, go, go here and and look here. And you notice up here, you can look at your, uh, anytime you're on a commentary, you can click information. And right now I'm on the Ultimate Cross Reference. It gives you information about it. Uh, dictionaries, same for that. Uh, I'm on the Bill Mounts Dictionary. Uh, Mount's Greek Dictionary, and it's given information about that. you notice I have that tab open. Uh, so, tools. Bible reading tool I've loaded, and I'll show you where to get these Bible reading programs, or you could create your own. It has a way to create your own by just simply... Let me get this shrunk down a little bit. I'm doing a Bible reading, and I'm doing it in the uh, Berean Study Bible. Uh, I'm doing one that is a, uh, a thematic. In other words, it groups similar themes throughout the Bible together for your daily Bible reading plan. You'll notice here I've got Second Kings and Chronicles and Zephaniah all thrown in here together for today's reading. It's really cool. I also have other reading plans in here. I have a one-year reading plan, <coughs> which is... Uh, a chrono this is chronologically thematic that I have. Then I have a chronological one and then I have a Psalms one year reading plans. I like to do that. Psalms and Proverbs one year over a year just to to focus on the prayer side of things. But anyhow, so let's close out close out of this. Uh so yeah. Other downloads, uh, devotions, graphics, need maps? You got them. Let me pull this back over here. Which I have uh Let's see, graphics. Smith Bible Atlas, for some reason, it's not showing that I do have it. But I do have that, actually have that. Uh, there's others. They're free. And let me, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. And downloads, say, reference books. And so all these different reference books you could download that are free. There's some you could purchase. So yeah, it's a. Uh, this is where it gives logos and all the tree run for money. But here's where it even gets better. What I'm about to show you, right here. This is BibleSupport.com. It's a companion site to eSword. Everything on this site you can download for free. Uh, like for example, the Mount's Concise Greek Dictionary. Literally thousands and thousands of free modules that you can download. And uh, what I would re highly recommend is uh, get the let me see, top downloader. The eSword module installer. Before you download anything from this site, I recommend you get the eSword module installer. So it'll do a nice clean. You ain't got to figure out how to do stuff. You don't have to walk through a process. It just does it for you. But there are just tons Tons of things you could plug in here that are free, absolutely free. Now, remember, it's not free to them to provide you this. So, you'll notice down here, let me see, where's it at? We go to Bible Support. Uh, I believe it's on the About, maybe. Let's just look here. Well, somewhere <laughs> they have it on there. Somewhere there's a thing you can, it's usually on the right hand side. I guess it's after you go for a download. So let's say I wanted to download, uh, say John Piper. I happen to know all his publications are on here for free. Uh, let's go to download. So let's look at this real quick. John Piper, and if you wanted the whole thing in one shot, you can go to the end of this list and get them all in one shot. So, but let's just say I wanted this one here from John Piper, and I'd hit download. I think it's on this page here, and yeah, there it is. 
there's the donation page. I wanted you to know where it's at. It may be on this page. Uh, let's see here. It's not. So the donation page is when you go to download. That's where you find where to make a donation. So, you know, if you got a little money and you're getting stuff that's blessing you, how about blessing them? Because even though it's free, it's, it's costing them a lot of money to do this. So that's my little uh, pitch to get you to help these guys. Uh, it's not tax deductible. I'm going to tell you that right now. Anything you donate to either one of these is not tax deductible. But if you're only donating to causes, Christian causes that are that you you only donate to ones that's going to give you a a receipt that's tax deductible, uh, you might as well keep your money. God's not honoring that donation anyway. So anyhow, those are the reasons. Uh, oh, I, let me show you one more thing. Let me put this back over here. I forgot I missed one thing here. So we we got these editors that are built right in journal notes study notes topic notes they all serve different functions if you get this uh journal notes is you just journaling along study notes if you happen to be on a verse and you want to make a note on that particular verse you can go pick the book out for example, Proverbs, and then you pick out the chapter and the verse, make a note, and it's going to put a little underline. I don't know of one I have right away because I quit using this particular side, believe it or not. But it'll put an underline right under here, let you know you got a note attached. You click on it, your note will show up. You can also create your topic notes. I, per I started out using this, and I've made videos on how you can get all of this stuff into the cloud so you can share it across computers. Now, unfortunately, you can't share PC across Mac or iPad, iPhone, anything like that because they're two different operating systems. But if you wanted to share, like for this, a share across PCs, or if you wanted to share across Apple products, you could use these videos. I have videos in my channel you can look for. They will show you how to put your stuff in the cloud so you can share across multiple devices. Uh, it's fairly easy to do if you want to do that. Me, I personally, I use Microsoft OneNote. I, I quit using this. I use Microsoft OneNote, and I'm able to share that across everything, including Mac and iPhone and all of that, uh, the OneNote. And I got the Bible loaded up on everything. Now, I will tell you, the PC and Mac are free, I believe. Is that what it is? Let me just go back and look real quick. Uh, eSword. Let me see here. Download. Let's go to download. Let's see what's free here. Uh, get the installer and install it for you. So, uh, eSword for PC is free. Let's look at eSword X. I don't know if it's free or not. Let's take a look here, because I don't even know. I don't have a Mac. Let's see what it does, says here. All right. So the Mackie sword is... I don't know. I'm thinking it's free. No, excuse me. It's $9.99 for Mac. Uh, he doesn't charge a whole lot for this. Uh... Esword HD, which would be for uh, Apple uh, iPads. I have that. I think it's around seven bucks or something like that. Five ninety nine. It's five ninety nine. And uh, let me see. Esword LT. That's for iPhone. The LT version for iPhone. And it is also it's three ninety nine. So they're really cheap uh, to get those. The PC version is free. Uh, the others cost a little bit of money, but hey, it is absolutely worth every penny. It will save you the thousands of dollars you would need to spend with Olive Tree or Logos, which are the two, I guess, major competitors. It will save you thousands and thousands of dollars because of what you can download for free within the software and BibleSupport.com. Let's look at that one more time. They have thousands, literally thousands of free things to plug in. Never ask you for a dime. You got John Calvin's commentary. Uh, let's see what your top 
top ones are right now. Top downloads this month, Expositors, Bible, Commentary, Hebrew, Greek, and Alinear. So you see, you can see right here, you can just see just tons of stuff that's for free that will make logos and olive trees seem like a waste of money. And I'm not putting down their products, but I know the cost involved to get everything that I have on my eSword would be in the thousands. If because I have logos, I don't use logos. I have it. I found out <laughs> what it would cost, and so I don't use it. Uh, eSword with with me and and Microsoft OneNote combined together are the perfect combination. So that's all I had to say about this. I hope you like it. You go to e sword.net uh, to get the free PC version or any of the uh, Mac, iPhone, iPad versions for under $10. Uh, the most expensive one is $9.99, and the other two are six, what, six bucks or four bucks? $5.99, $3.99, right? So really cheap. And the, uh, again, BibleSupport.com is the companion website for eSword. And that's all, folks. I mean, to uh, tell you, it's, you just can't beat it. And you have a good day. And I'll leave a download link out, or the links for all this in the bottom. See you later.